Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today I'm bringing you another video where we are gonna repurpose another packaging. I just received this as a Mother's Day's gift. It's a, it was a kimono wrap. And what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna be an easy, simple project. What we're gonna do is create like a pocket and you can use this as happy mail, you know, to send happy mail, flap. Um, mail is uh, depending on what you put on your pocket. If you don't use like um, bulky embellishment and all that, you can send this, uh, this as, a fa uh, sorry, as a flap mail. So um, let me give you measurements before I show you what I'm thinking to use. Um, this whole piece, the panel here is um, six inches by five, so six inches wide by five. But as you see, um, the pocket is gonna be up to this score line here. So that is four and a half. Then you get this flap that is one and a half. So for the purpose of this video, um, you can cut a piece of cardstock or maybe cereal box, heavy cardstock. Um, you can cut it um, 12 inches by five, 12 by five. Then you will fold it in half and just gonna score on the one and a half um, score line mark. And you will glue this flap down and you will have that pocket that we're gonna close on the bottom. And what we're gonna do is decorate this and create some tags for inside, um, maybe a couple of tags or journaling cards. So um, that's my plan for this package. So let me show you, I have some lace and the colors that I'm gonna be using is like this peach color and this mint color, like a green pastel color. So I have some lace and some stuff here that I'm gonna use. Um, I had these flowers. I got this at Hobby Lobby and I've been using these flowers on different projects. I guess they're very chubby chic because everything that I have been using this flower, people are saying that they're chubby chic, but I got them at Hobby Lobby. So let me put them to the side. I got these stickers. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I may use them on the tags um, for clearance on 74 cents at Hobby Lobby and had the colors that I wanna use. And also I got this new um, paper pad from Hobby Lobby. It was $5.49 in clearance. The regular price was $21.99. And the name is Navy Florals. It's a beautiful paper pad. The colors are navy blue, peaches, white. It has some navy blue gold and but the pretty papers. And I got it at Clarence at Hobby Lobby. So that's the pack that I'm gonna be using, the paper pad. So I picked some papers here that I wanna use from that paper pad. And also I had this, this is from another paper pad from um, Hobby Lobby as well. But um, I had this left and some pages on that, from that pack. And I may use some of these, maybe the ones that had like the peach or something. I don't know. I, I just grabbed them just in case. I'm gonna use them maybe in a tag, uh, you know, like to decorate my tag or journaling card, things like that. So I'm gonna uh, put this aside too for now. We're gonna get to this after we decorate our package. And I was thinking for the decoration, I'm gonna use this. This one is gonna be my cover for my packaging. So let's start working with that. I was gonna cut it beforehand, but let's just go ahead and I'm gonna cut this 12 by five. So it's already 12, I'm just gonna cut um, to the five inch. My paper, I'm gonna just cut the five inches. Let me make sure. Yes, so it's five by 12. It's the piece of paper that you're gonna need to cover. Um, I know you're not, you're not gonna have this, but you know, you should make it with the cardstock. Even though, even, you can even use the cardstock 
and create it. You don't have to like decorate anything, just with the card duck. Just score here at the one and a half um, score line and just glue this down, that part, that flap. And here you have your pocket, that easy. Just close it on the bottom, close it here on the side, you know, leaving your space open for your pocket. So look, you don't even need anything else. Just a piece of paper, cardstock, preferably um, 12 inches by five. Okay, that easy. This is an easy project. So I'm gonna close my pocket. I'm just gonna use my glue gun here. I'm gonna close it here on the bottom. Okay, so it's our pocket is closed. Look. And I have my flap. I'm gonna leave that flap and I'm gonna do the whole, the same as here with my hole puncher and I'm gonna tie this right there as a decoration. So that's why I wanna keep, I'm gonna, um, even though I'm gonna cover it, I'm gonna do the hole again with my hole puncher. Let me get, let me get it here. This one is one inch, inch I'm sorry. So circle punch. Let me just have it there ready. So my pocket is closed, let's glue, um, let's cover our packaging. I'm gonna use my fast grab tacky glue from Aline's. I get this at Hobby Lobby for $2.99 and I think this is one of my favorite glue now. Um, I've been using this um, in all my projects. Let me just clean, let me get a wipe here to clean my glue. Okay, so let's glue this down. Just a second, let me get something to protect my... Now, now we are... Okay, so remember you need a piece of cardstock, zero box, um, whatever you have. Oh, you can also use a file folder, whatever you have at home. Just cut it 12 by five. And then score on the one and a half a mark. So you can do this flap here. If you wanna do something like similar to my project. Okay. I'm, you know, I, right now, I've been keeping all packages that I um, see around my house that I can, you know, use for projects. So it's been crazy. I, I've been keeping everything and trying to think of ideas, of new things to make, you know, with those packaging. Pretty sure if you're following my videos, you may be doing the same thing as me. Just keeping all your packaging around the house. So you can create projects too. Okay. I, I love this paper. I think I'm gonna distress it. I wasn't gonna distress the edges, but I may um, distress them. Let me get my, no, not for to use the brown. I may use that my orange. Let me get my archival ink here. I had the round one here, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and use the orange. Orange blossom.
I'm just gonna keep my ink here to the side just in case I need it for something else. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so our pocket is already covered. And let me get my other papers here. I think these ones are gonna use it like for tag and for the journaling card. And let me see if I'm gonna use something of like this. For the front, for my cover, let's see what I have here. I think I'm gonna use the Enjoy. Um, hmm. I like this to your, the perfect type of beautiful. But it had this flower here, so I think I'm gonna go with this one for my cover. And this one say enjoy, enjoy the little things. Because I remember I had the other flowers that I want to, I may use for decoration. I don't know yet because my paper has flowers already. But I have them here just in case. Let me get them. And see if I want to use them. So I'm going to uh, round the, uh, um, the corners and I may... Um, put this on top of another paper because it's too white, but I just want to see here. I was thinking to use this flower. Maybe something like this. I, but I have to remember I want to do... Let me do my hole right now. And you don't have to do the hole. I, I just want to... Let me see if I can make it with this because it's kind of uh, let me see because now it's kind of um thick and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it with my hand but let's try and see hopefully i don't mess it up See if I can put pressure here. No, no, I can't. So I guess I will leave it like that for now. I cannot press this. I almost did the hole, but my arm hurts. Let me try again. No, it's too hard for me right now. So let me see if I can move this. Now it's stuck. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Let's do this the easy way. Because yes. it cut a little bit, but not all the way. So I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't want to force my arm and get hurt. Let me see. So you see it made the the hole. Maybe I can um with a knife cut it instead of using my if not, what I'm gonna do is I will do the bowl and just put it there. We will get to, to do something there. If not, I will change my my mind and just don't use anything there. So, well, I almost did, look. If I can pressure more, but that's okay. Let's, let's continue because my, my hand hurts, so I, I, I don't wanna put a lot of pressure there, so. 
that's okay. Let, let's continue. I don't want to keep um, wasting time. So let me cut this a little bit more. Smaller. And I'm going to round the corners and the stressed edges. And this is too white. I may think, I think I'm going to take that flower from there. I don't think that I cut that too straight, but that's fine. That's fine. Let me get my... shirt for the to round the corners oops and let's distress this oh I also want to do a pocket on the back I may do that okay so distressing the edges If I want to um, put this on top of uh, something else, Wanna see if I like it with something being underneath. Yeah, I think I like that. I wish this letter were gold. But that's okay. Okay, I like that. Um This is a mesh ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree and I've been using it in all my projects. I really like it. like that I may even change my mind about putting that ribbon there I like this composition here I wish let me see if I have um, some green lace or something here on my drawer just a second let me see real quick this is I have the same um, the same green that we were using here. I'll be back with you in just a second. I mean, I'm just checking on my drawer here on the side and see if I have anything on that green that I like here. I don't think I do. I don't, I don't see anything that may work there. I don't want some lace on the bottom. Let me see what I have here. Maybe I can use this. Yeah, I kind of like this. I'm gonna use this here.
And I always start with a plan and then change my mind and, and do something else. Uh, but that's good. That's fine. You can change your mind at all times. Okay. Wish I can... Uh, if I don't go with the bow thing, I, I may cover this here with the other flower. So let me round my corners for this. And I don't think that I want to distress this orange. Let me distress a green. Let me get my green pink. This is fern green. So let's distress that. side. Let's glue this. That's gonna go there. Do I want anything else? Let me see. I don't think I'm gonna use any of this sticker on my cover. And I don't think I'm gonna use anything, nope. What I'm gonna do is add some um, pearls. down Just press this down for a moment. Let me let me add some of this just to help hold this down. Stress my flower. It's gonna go with the green one. trying to place it that you can still see what 
it says there. Let me see. I think. I think in the back I'm gonna do a, a pocket. I think I, I like the green ones better. So let's stick with the green ones. Okay. So that's what we have so far. Let's work on the back. I think for the back, I'm gonna use this same paper. Let me see. Maybe this one. I think I'm gonna do the back pocket with this one. Let's try the last one. Yeah. So this one. So my pocket is gonna be six by. I don't know. I I just wanna cover this because I'm not gonna do the my other idea. So it's gonna be six by maybe three. Let me see. So I cut my pocket six by three. I'm just using my quarter inch um, double sided tape for my uh, to attach my pocket. trying to move some things out of the way. Your desk can get messy when you're creating. this on the bottom here too.
yeah, I'm gonna do that. I I am not gonna overthink it. Sorry, let me move these things out the way. Yes, I usually when I overthink it, I just change my mind and keep changing my project, but I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. So now we have two pockets, the one up here and the one in the back. I really like how it's turning, this project is turning. So let's see, I think I want to add no, I don't like that one. That one don't go with this. Maybe this one and I can trim some of that. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking and see if I like it or not. Well, we'll come back to this. Let, let me put it to the side, because I don't like this one. This one don't go like, okay, so let's put this to the side. I may put some quote or something here, in here. but let me put this to the side. Let's do a couple of, um, tags so my my pocket is four and a half by six so i think i'm gonna cut them maybe four and a quarter four and a quarter by maybe six and a quarter I, it's just one a little bit up there let's see i get my scoreboard and Let's do one with this. So four and a quarter. By let's see. Let me cut six and a quarter and see. Wait, it was five. <laughs> yeah, this is five. So it's five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, right there. Now it look more to the size that I need. Yeah. And let me see in the back. In the back. I make a little um, shorter, or maybe like a journaling card, let's see. Yeah, you, we can use this side for the back too. So this was five and a quarter by four and a quarter. Five by four and a quarter. So let me cut one of these. I can use this one too, so I can use the same paper. Let's see. Yeah, so let's cut to five and a quarter. So we don't waste this piece of paper. One for the front and one for the back. So let's cut one of these ones. Three and a quarter. I'm sorry. Okay, five, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, what was it? 
we'll say five and a quarter by four and a quarter, right? Yeah. Thinking, yeah. Thinking, thinking. Yeah, five and a quarter by. And then one of the orange. I think four is enough for now. So there's two front, there's two for the back. These ones are gonna be tag, and then the ones on the back are gonna be journaling cards. So let's create a tag here. I think I'm gonna cut this one, just a little no from me to you. For this one. And then for this one, let's use... Maybe thinking of you, or let it be. Let, let's see this one, let it be. I have some paper left from the paper pad that I'm gonna do in another project. I'm gonna use it in a, I already picked the papers, and it's probably gonna be another alter packaging because I have another one there or maybe I will I had two idea an alter packaging another one that I have or I'm gonna use some junk mail envelopes that I had laying around so I had two ideas I don't know yet which one I'm gonna use but so I think this one I'm gonna put on top of some of this green one because you can hardly see it on this paper. simple you know I like simple stuff so let's round corner let's do stress edges I don't like to make um, things too elaborated because not everybody is gonna have a lot of stuff so if you use the minimal stuff the chances are that you can find something similar at home and I don't like anybody to feel like they cannot create a project or recreate a project because they don't have the, all those materials that I'm using. So that's why you see that my projects are minimal decoration. I can go up on decoration because I have stuff, but I had to. I like to keep it uh, minimal. So you know. 
for new people that are um, maybe starting on making craft projects and they still don't have a lot of stuff or maybe the budget is not there. So. But I know you're being enjoying my video with my minimal decorations. <laughs> Let me distress this too. Okay, so let's place this here. For the top, um, I had this. This have blue, but that's okay. Um, this paper have blue from some places, so I may use this. Let's use this. Let me get my hole puncture. to our tag. Um, I may add later um, line paper to the back so you know we can use it as a journaling space too. You can still use it as white in the back but I think I just to give it a finished look I'm gonna add some line paper in the back so let, our first tag is ready. Let's work on one more. This one. I love this combination of colors. little piece white piece here I'm just gonna leave it simple like that, I think. It's gonna glue this down. Um, let me see something. I just don't wanna make it too bulky. Because if I decide to mail that, um, I wanted it to be as flat as possible. Maybe I should tell you right now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please. What are you waiting for? You are enjoying my videos, so please sign up. Um, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can you know, receive notifications every time that I upload a new video. Since I was and a lot of pain and I couldn't upload video you're probably gonna be seeing a lot of videos um, 
you know, coming up because I have a lot of ideas and things that I want to make that I wasn't able to make for more than a week. Okay, so that's our second tag. Looking pretty, I love it. So now we're gonna work on just two journaling cards. I'm just gonna do something simple. I may even use this flower on the journaling card. Look, I like it. I like it already simple. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the journaling cards. I'm gonna add um, line paper to the back. But I'm not gonna do it on this video because I don't want this video to be too long. And it's already almost an hour, so, but you know, you can um, just add maybe coffee dye paper um in the back of your journaling cards you can also line paper uh, line paper anything to cover that white from your you know card stock okay so this one is ready simple i may stamp something here maybe remember I will stamp something, no maybe, I, I will stamp something here and add the paper in the back. So I'm just letting you know, so you can do the same thing on yours. Looks so pretty. And I'm gonna put some, uh, let me get my quotes, I want something in the back here. And let's do the last one, and we are almost done. This one I think I'm just gonna leave it simple like that. Let me see if I have anything else that I may want to use here. Oh, you know why? I completely forgot about the sticker, but I told you I wasn't thinking to use the sticker. Maybe I can add this to do. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna use the sticker, but I think I'm gonna go with this. And then I will stamp something, or maybe, let me see. Here I say to do the plan. Let's use this. It says the plan. It had yellow, but it's okay. Okay, so there's my journaling card. This one is gonna go in the back. Here. I think I'm gonna use this, it says, today is your day. Yeah, I like it. Let's see. Mm, I don't think, my tags already say something, so I think that's it. I think I'm not gonna, um, go overboard adding stuff and you know beauty is on the simplicity as well but we use the stickers look we did so let me move let me close my glue here and we are done guys we are done with this project i think i like it better without the bowl that i was going to make there it's pretty right this is the front, and this is the back. Looking in the camera so I can show you. And let me show you the tags again. Oh, you know what? I glued this one upside down. Let me see if I can fix it. 
Look, let it be. But you know what? I'm not gonna do that. Let's do something else. I know, I know. Let's fix it. There you go. Nothing that you cannot fix, right? I always telling you that, and look, is that true? I'm not lying. It's fixed. So this is one whole tag. This one says just a little note from me to you. Let's put this back here. Okay, and then our journaling cards. The plan. Okay, so this is it, guys. This is it for tonight. Well, afternoon. It's still the afternoon. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you have given me a thumbs up. Please share with your friends. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. So this is it for today. I hope that you are enjoying your day. Happy crafting, everyone.